Today I'd like to show you how to create a client, a household member, and do a pickup for that household. From the main menu, choose Clients, Households. That'll bring you to the Client section. And then go ahead and add a new client which is the same as adding a new household. Type in your client name. I'll just say test client. Only field required here is last name, but I strongly suggest you put all the information in as you have it, especially birth date, because that will allow you to get reports on what age group you are serving. So if you don't put information in, such as birth date, uh, or such as an email address. Uh, you'll never be able to get the reports that you want out uh, because there'll be no birth date and you won't know their age. As well as if you don't put an email address in, you'll never be able to do a blast email to all your clients uh, or at least be able to do an email that this client would get. Um, so the more information you put in, the more you'll be able to get out of this system. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put in test client, a birth date. I'm going to use the drop down and I'm going to say that, um, let's go way back in time. I'll go back, 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 back. In fact, if you're going to go way back in years, you're better off just typing in the actual date. So I'm going to say 10 1 1970, just like that. Um, and address, I'm going to put an address in. City, say New York. State, say New York. Uh, zip code, let's say 1002. Uh, phone number is important because then you'll always have this information to easily be able to contact them. So I'll just say 212-555-1212. Um, cell number, if you have it, would be helpful. Um, again, maybe their cell number is the same as their regular phone, so I'll put that same number in. And then email, I'll just put in a test email for now, test.com. And date became client, they signed up today. You just go ahead and select today and you hit create. And that will go ahead and add that test client into the list. Now you're ready to add household members. So the client is the main household member. If they live by themselves, there's no need to do anything else. But let's just say they are the main household member, say the father of a family of two. So in this case, or uh, have two family members besides the father. So in this case, you want to add two household members. So next to that client, you go to household members, you click on that, and then it will ask you, or, or it will show you what household members it sees, and in this case there's none because we just created the client. So you're going to go to create household member, and then you're going to, let's say, add his wife in. So I will uh, just add someone in. And again, birthday is very important because when you log a pickup here, then you'll be able to show how many family members you helped and at what age group did they belong to. So I'm going to say birthday again is 10, let's say in this case 1030, and they were born in 1974. And notes could be a peanut allergy or something simple like that just to keep certain notes. I'm going to say create and now that family member or household member would be logged here. Let's just say they also have a child. So I'll say create new family member and the son's name is Bob and the birth date let's just say they were just born this year so I'll say 0101 2015 and I will say create. So now we have a main household member and then we have two household members within that main household so we have the client and the two household members 
Now let's go ahead and do a pickup. So I'm going to go back to client household. I'm going to go to that client. I'm going to go ahead and go to pickups. And let's just say they just got food today. You would say create new pickup. You would put in today's date. And if it was HIPNAP uh, three bag compliant, if it met the guidelines, then you can leave that checked. Um, and you can fill in details, which is just like a note section if you want. If not, just go ahead and hit create. And now you've just logged in a pickup for that client and the system will understand it as a pickup for three people because you had two household members attached to that one client. Thank you.